Welcome back. We are here looking at the commodities market and the precious metals market. And it's going to be my daily podcast for Tuesday, June 1st, 2021. If you'd like to support our channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the US dollar index. And as you can see, we had basically fallen quite a bit today. It looks like we're going back towards these previous lows here at 90, no, 89.5. And probably towards the, the bottom of the bullish band, which is at 89.5. 30. So yes, we are still in a downtrend and the 20 exponential is offering a resistance. As long as that is the case, we will continue going lower and lower. So we are approaching the previous lows here or the previous low there. This was basically back in uh, the beginning of March and um, the beginning of the year, beginning of the of of January, we were all the way down to 89.19. So as long as this will go lower and lower, then most commodities and precious metals, they will basically go higher. If you look at technical indicators, we can see that they are definitely favoring the downside at this current stage. So let's look at oil. So oil continues to go higher and higher. There is the, the OPEC meeting tomorrow, so there's probably going to be quite a lot of noise before that meeting. So um, probably a good uh, good idea just just stay away from this market usually it can ruin your account because there's just news everywhere and can go back and forward and so on but uh, we have these highs here of uh, give or take um, 67.18 if that basically breaks then we are looking at 70 and probably towards 75 to the downside we have this uptrend line which is roughly here give or take and uh, fall towards the, uh, this up uh, turn line is down roughly at 63 so yes that's fairly bearish but but um, we have found massive support at this trend line we can see right here and right here so fall towards this uh, upper trend line that will probably uh, be a lot of support right here if this breaks then we're looking at 60 and then also much lower than that if we look at technical indicators for oil we can see that stochastic the macd is bullish stochastic is bullish the cci is still in bullish territory and the rsi is flat at this current stage so let's look at natural gas so natural gas we can see that we have rallied above these previous highs here and above the middle of the bullish band and it looks like we are heading towards the top of the bullish band which is the at 3.0881. Technical indicators, they are slowly turning around. MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is bullish. CCI is bullish. And the RSI is also bullish at this point. So, yes, the bottom of the bullish band here, or roughly 2.9, that has been massive support. We can see also here that we tested this area uh, very often before rallying. We can see right how often this area was basically tested before continuing to the upside. So, Trend is definitely to the upside at this current stage. And uh, yes, we are, even though in this period here, uh, we are uh, trending upwards. If we manage to take out these previous highs here, which we tried to do a few weeks ago, then we may see this go to these previous highs of roughly 3.37. So let's look at copper. So copper did fall a little bit. We did uh, have a massive rally last week and uh, a pullback after that could be expected. It also rallied roughly 3-4%. If you look at technical indicators, they are fairly mixed. MACD is still bearish, stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat. So we found major support down here at the 44 and we have found quite a lot of resistance at give or take at 4.69. So let's look at gold. So gold continues slowly. It's just going technically sideways at the moment. It looks like momentum has run out and to uh, kind of expect this to pull back at some point. We are significantly overbought. That is the problem that we're facing at this point. It's difficult for this to go significantly higher when we're this overbought in the RSI. So a pullback towards the 20 exponential at 1860, uh, that could give this enough momentum in order to go significantly higher. Target would most likely be these previous highs here. This is 1950, give or take, and then we're heading towards 2000. We are in uptrend and uh, 
pullbacks similar to this and this is kind of what we are expecting at the moment uh, before this goes significantly higher so let's look at silver so silver very similar here it is just bouncing off the 20 exponential and we are in a very nice channel to the upside it looks like it is 30 dollars that we are going to target here that is where we found massive resistant in the past both here and here and if we manage to take out to the 30 then we are probably going to 35 and then beyond that if you look at technical indicators they are fairly bullish at this point MACD is flat, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, and the RSI is flat at this point. So let's look at Platinum. So Platinum tried to recover. It is um, not a massive recovery, to be fairly honest. MACD is still bearish, Stochastic is flat, CCI is still in negative territory, and the RSI is also flat at this, at this stage. If we manage to break about the middle of the bullish band, then we could head towards the top at 1,263. Break below these previous lows here at 11, 1,160. That could open the door to 1,100, and then all the way down to probably um, 1,060. Uh, so let's look at Pallium. Yes, Pallium has recovered from its lows here of uh, 2723 and now we're, we have basically touched the uh, middle of the, the Bollinger Band and uh, creating quite a you know, shooting star here. And that's not a very good sign. We could basically roll over from here and if we manage to take out these previous lows, then this could head all the way down to 2500 or even the, uh, or the 200 moving average down at 14, uh, 2450 give or take. So. That is to be uh, that has been seeing what basically happens here. We can see that we have one shooting star here, we have one shooting star here, and we did fall quite significantly after that. So we could see something similar to this. Technically, indicators they are turning around. There, some of them are still in bearish territory. MACD is bearish, stochastic is bullish, and CCI is still bearish, and the RSI is flat. So let's look at aluminium. So, aluminium did uh, rally above the middle of the Bollinger Band at the 2483, and uh, yes, it is fairly good. Um, the 50 moving average is a massive support in this market. We did have an absolutely crazy fall to work from the highs here of 2563 all the way down to the 50 moving average of 2312, and now we have rallied. Well, we have basically broken the Fibonacci retracement here, if I can see. Yeah, we have broken the 61.8, and it looks like we are going back towards the top of the Bollinger Band at 2546. Technically, are uh, turning around. MACD is still in uh, bullish territory, going across the signal line, and a very bullish shine. Stochastic is bullish, CGI is bullish, and the RSI is Flat. If we pull back from here, we'll most likely find massive support at the middle of the bullish band. So let's look at nickel. So nickel also continues to rally. We have basically tested these previous eyes here. We can see tested here, here, here. Have not broken above. We're trading at the 18,130. 50 moving average is the bottom of this market at this current stage. Technical indicators are all turning around. If this basically breaks, then we could head towards 19,000 uh, 19, and probably also 20,000. So let's look at sugar. So sugar did rally all the way up towards the 0 0.17 and then, well, gave most of those gains back. It do favor the upside, uh, upside still. A 50 moving average offered quite a lot of support. You can see the, Mac, the technical indicators are turning around. MACD is still bearish. Stochastic is bullish. CCI is bullish. And the RSI is also bullish. So it may well be that we'll head back towards the previous highs here of roughly 0 0.1821. To the downside, 50 moving average or basically the bottom of the bullish band at this point is massive support. So let's look at cotton. So cotton is not rallying at this point. Right? We are still underneath the 50 moving average. We have a crossing here of 20 exponential in the 50, which is uh, not a good sign for this market. We may rally up towards that 20 or the 50 and get rejected there and then crash towards the previous lows of 0 0.77, uh, 41 or the 200 moving average. 
200 moving average is probably going to be the bottom of this market. So we could drop towards the level and then continue to the upside. If we break below the 200 moving average, then we could drop 0.70, give or take. So uh, it's difficult to say how far we will drop if the 200 moving average breaks, but uh, we're still technically an uptrend. It has been very up and down, this massive rally here, massive fall rally and so on. But technically we're still trending above the 200 moving average and still in uptrend. So let's look at Kakoa. So if we look at Kakoa, we can see that the 50 moving average offered quite a lot of uh, resistance and then we basically broke down from there. So we're still trading within the square uh, and um, it has been somewhat more predictable where this has been going uh, recently. We have been rallying up towards the highs here to the lows highs and nearly to the lows and now we're right basically middle of nowhere technically the day i do favor the downside at this point so we may well be that we see that rejection here and head towards the bottom of roughly 20 uh, 23 13. so let's look at the uh, wheat so we has uh, rallied uh, we did rally significantly on friday and then started to break down this is not a very good sign for this market. Uh, technically, they are fairly mixed. MACD is uh, bearish, the stochastic is bullish, the CCI is bearish, and the RSI is uh, bearish as well. So we got rejected here at the 50 moving average. Is If we fall below these previous lows of 638, then we could drop towards the 200 moving average. And if that breaks, then who knows where this is going. We're still in an uptrend. We're still trending above the 200 moving average. And we have seen these massive drops before towards the 200 and then rally. So whether or not this is one of those cases that will drop here and then continue it's going to be higher, that is to be seen. But the technical indicators are, they are fairly mixed. MACD is bearish, Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bearish, and the RSI is also bearish. If you look at uh, long-term for this market, we can see that we did break the middle of the bullish band and then rallied above that. But we have occasionally dropped nearly to the 50 moving average. But we do have a crossing here of the 20 um, of the MACD in the weekly chart. And usually that means that we are just, well, just continuing this drop. So if we fall towards give or take 600. That probably could be possible within the next uh, two or three weeks. So, hope you find it helpful. You will support our channel by subscribing, hit the like button, and the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.